आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ अव नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे On the 30th of June 1855 the Santhal uprising began the indigenous tribe of Santhals from the then Bengal presidency rose up against the British East India Company and the zamindari system the Santhal hul which started 2 years before the 1857 revolt continued till November the 10th 1855 when martial law was declared Santhals fought against the unjust revenue system of permanent settlement that exploited the community surviving on forest products and the barter system according to the permanent settlement act of 1793 by lord cornwallis landlords would have perpetual and hereditary rights over the lands demarcated under their jurisdiction until and unless they were able to pay the required land revenue thus to create this new class of zamindars the british confiscated lands from the santhals and other tribes the santhals had to serve these landlords who would take away a large chunk of their agricultural produce leaving them with almost nothing to sustain themselves they borrowed from the money lenders who would lend at exorbitant rates to an already vulnerable and impoverished group santhals were forced into bonded labor and generation after generation cultivated land to meet the demands of the british many had to work in indigo plantations or for the railway constructions that the british initiated brothers of the murmu clan siddhu kanhu chand and bhairav along with their sisters phulo and jhano led the uprising against the blatant exploitations of the santhals they organized thousands of santhals from neighboring areas after declaring that freedom can only be won by armed war as the uprising gained power the company administration sent more troops to fight santhals who in turn fought using their traditional weapons the british put a prize money of 10000 rupees for siddhu and kanhu the prominent leaders of the uprising santhals lost thousands of their kin and tens of villagers as the war elephants destroyed their homes the colonizers managed to suppress the uprising and siddhu and kanhu were killed in action however the sacrifices of the santhals were not in vain the uprising concluded with the issuing of the santhal parganas tenancy act which provided the people some protection from colonial exploitation regular police force was abolished and the village head was put in charge of maintaining peace on the 30th of june 1857 the battle of chinhat was fought between british forces and indian independence activists during the first war of indian independence at ismail ganj near chinhat avadh The British were led by the Chief Commissioner of Awadh, Henry Lawrence, and the Indian activists were led by Barkat Ahmed, an ex-officer of the British Army. The Battle of Chinhat was one of the few major victories which Indian forces obtained in open combat with the British during the uprising. The 
The British force was greatly outnumbered by the Indian Independence Army by about 6,000 to 600. The Indians were in well-prepared positions behind stone walls in the village and inflicted heavy casualties on the British forces. The regiment's acting commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel William Case, was killed, as were several officers. Many of the British soldiers, especially Indian artillery men, also joined the Indian forces, overturning their guns and cutting the traces on the horses. The British were forced to retreat to the British residency at Lucknow. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Oh,